Hello people of Australia and welcome to a new feature on Osprey's TV, Matt's Dwyeries, with me, yours truly, Matt's Dwyer. <laughs> Matt's Dwyer, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Good afternoon wonderful people of Australia and welcome to the new feature on Osprey's TV, Matt's Dwyeries, with yours truly, Matt Dwyer. Get it? Join me as we take a look around the training ground at Land Darcy. We have one-to-one -one interviews with one of the players from the Ospreys and we just check out the day-to-day -day life of an Osprey. This is footage from Matt's diary. We're just going to go into the hub of the changing where the junior players tend to get changed and we walk in and we find, oh, Dan Suter. <laughs> Dan Blazerian Suter, just checking himself out in the mirror, <laughs> just in case you were wondering what's going on. How are you, Dan? Not too bad. Just having a coffee before the game? Training. Good. Are you happy? Ah. Okay. Ah. This is where the boys get changed. There's Lloyd Pierce. You want to wave the camera, Lloyd? For the Australians, all our fans. Gar Thomas, you want to give a wave for the fans? And pass. The very serious uh, pre training <laughs> attitude going on there, Lloyd, eating an apple. Just going to draw your attention to Sam Lewis. Sam. Get the camera on my face, bro. Dan Suter. You know Dan Suter, Dan Blazerian Suter? Yeah. What's your thoughts on him? Lovely bloke. Yeah? Yeah, lovely look. If you could define him in three words, what would you say? Good scrummager. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, lovely bloke. <laughs> so, Dim Dimitri, what, anything you'd like to say to our Australian fans? Yeah, bro. Really good. We play very better next week. Best fans in the world? Yeah, exactly. Great. This is the, the general heartbeat of the club. You've got the physio room, these are the boys keeping the boys on the field. Someone take that camera off him. Here's Ashley back, just getting some ice. Rory Thornton being dealt with. <laughs> this place would not exist if it wasn't for the hub, the heartbeat of the team, led by this gentleman, yeah. <laughs> Chris Towers, anything you'd like to say for our fellow Australians? I'm just going to ignore you like I do every time. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, Can I quickly film you, please? Just no. talk about sausage. Just, I'll just pretend that nothing's happening and just talk about him. Please. No. Cross Breeze TV. I can't do it on it. <laughs> Can't I just say how he runs a wonderful line? No. No, leave him alone, man. No. This is your homework from Peter then, isn't it? Yeah, this, this is Cross Breeze TV, this is. Put you on the air. <laughs> Tom Smith and Andrew Lloyd, yeah, contract managers. The heartbeat of the team. <laughs> Dan Suter, how much is he on? <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Matt Dwyer. I've been looking around the uh, training facilities here at Land Darcy and uh, I managed to pick up a little uh, a little front row forward by the name of Dan Suter. Daniel, is there anything you'd like to say to the fellow Australians? Uh, hello, how are you? Daniel, how long have you been here at the Ospreys? Um, I've been here a total of uh, five years five years and what, what have you learned what's, it, what's, what's been the biggest learning curve you've had at the Ospreys and who has helped you on your pathway I uh, just learning about the game in general really uh, no, about my position more than anything and um, I've had some you know, great people who I, who I can learn from like who uh, Duncan Jones um, Adam Jones you no know, just, just to name a couple any more you want to name drop or no I think I'll do so Dan, there's been a you know we've we've done a few things. Uh, we've gone and allocated a bit of footage around uh, the changing rooms and the, you know the bit of the banter and stuff. Um, do you feel like uh, you know you've earned the name as Dan Blazerian Suter? Um, I, well, I I'm not sure to be honest. You know, like uh, th there's another Dan here who I think is more fitting for the name uh, Blazerian. But uh, no, it's, uh, I, I, I've got a couple of name um, nicknames, so might as well have another one, I suppose. What are your nicknames, Daniel? Uh, well, sausage is the the most known one, and um, there's a, another one called butch uh, being floating about. Now you say sausage. Why do they call you sausage, Daniel? Ah, uh, it's just uh, from back in college days, really. Um, it's uh, just the lecturer started calling calling me it, and it's uh, stuck ever since. The lecturer called you sausage. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and why do they call you butch? Um, <laughs> this is from uh, back in school days, really. Um, there's a ca character on the old soap opera, Emmerdale, and uh, his name was Butch Dingle, and he was um, ginger and uh, quite large, so uh, that's how I got... Uh... 
Yeah. But and how's things off the off the training park? You know, you know, I know you do a lot of extras with uh, Ashley Beck and obviously myself, Matt Dwyer, over at the gym. Um, is there, you know, is there any? Uh, you know, how's life outside of uh, rugby? I can't complain. You know, it's uh, it's going well. You no, know? like I said, you no know, getting the extras in with um, uh, you no know, yourself and uh, Mr. Beck. Uh, yeah, and just uh, no, I can't be happy. Yeah, it's going, it's going well. So, Daniel, have you got any jokes you'd like to share with the Australians? Uh, yeah, I have one. Go on then. Knock, knock. Ooh, who's there? Daisy. Daisy who? They Daisy see me rolling. <laughs> 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 All right, Daniel, thanks for the interview. And that's it for Matt Dwyer's from now. Tickets are still available for the Racing Metro game, so make sure all your Australians get together and join and support the boys for the Racing Metro game.